Hi, and welcome back to Community Hotline. I'm Monica Weitzel. We're here at Metro East Community Media in Gresham, Oregon. And with me today, I have the pleasure of introducing you to Amy Roloff. Amy, thanks for being here. Well, thank you for having me. Amy, you are the founder and the president of the Amy Roloff Charity Foundation. Yes. Tell me, uh, obviously people out there in, in viewer land know yes. you from, from your television shows mm -hmm. and um, you're, you're kind of everywhere in this community, not yeah. only just on, um, on Little People, Big World, did I say that right? Yes, you yeah. did. Yes, thank you, I have to think. Yes, you <laughs> did. Either I, you're not only you know, on the television show and your family as well, but um, you're very involved in the community. I've mm -hmm. seen you, you know, emceeing places and giving talks places, but you have your own charity mm -hmm. foundation as well. What, how long has it been around and what exactly do you do at the Amy Well, Roloff just to foundation? give people a little bit of history, uh, we do film the show Little People, Big World on our farm, at our house, and sometimes I have to clarify that because they actually think we're somewhere else and not really like at our home. Like on set in Hollywood we are. or something? So we're just out in the Helvetia area. Right. And, it's a beautiful um, area We've lived there. there for 23 years. We have a pumpkin farm. But anyway, through the opportunities of the television show, uh, I've always volunteered. I've always helped out in one way, shape, or form or another. But with that opportunity of the show, I thought, I want to take what I do to a you know bigger Another level, level. Yeah. It, it, make I, more of an impact well you've got the opportunity to yeah. I mean, that, that puts your name out there and you're recognized now so and that, so i was willing to vehicle. you know use that notoriety use my celebrity whatever worth it has to really help and benefit kids that's what arcf stands for amy roloff charity foundation i wanted to change kids lives i knew myself growing up and the challenges of just being a little person mm -hmm. you know with dwarfism mm -hmm. Just the challenges that kids are going through now, whether it be divorce, whether it be foster care, special needs, right, whatever, right. underprivileged. It's hard being a kid, just being it a is. kid, but there's always something else in, in and anybody's And I think the life. intensity now just seems magnified. So, you know, I started it back in 2009, so we're going into our fifth year this year. I'm excited. I've got a great team. So... I didn't want to recreate the wheel mm -hmm. and start mm -hmm. something that someone else is already doing a great job, right. but just needs a little more support. And if I could lend my name it for that organization and have our fundraising be project driven, then I think, well, geez, I'm doing some You're really great things. And you are. And I really uh, emphasize some of the smaller organizations that may not be as well known mm -hmm. because a lot of times people don't give them the credit because they're only reaching this amount or this amount right, right. of people. But it doesn't and mean that they're not making a huge difference. Absolutely. Yeah. And so I wanted really of a mixture. So I've been at it uh, for, you know, like I said, uh, four years. We're going into our fifth year. Uh, this year, I have finally decided on a project that I really can dive into, my board can dive into, and ARCF can dive into it. And that is about um, beyond bullying. It's beyond? A, beyond bullying. Bullying. You know, bullying. I didn't okay. want it yes. to be just about nice words or, you know, the positive perspective. Not that that's not important, but I wanted to go a little bit deeper. Right. So we're working with a uh, doctor professor at Portland State University, and she's been a huge, huge benefit help to us. And so it's kind of like a aggression reduction character development. Character Beyond building. Bullying an organization no. itself? No. This is, this this is, is my your tagline. project. Okay. So it's really the, the tagline for this program. Is, is beyond bullying. It's about that character development that so many teachers are asking for, the educational. It, it's, they're so unindated with a lot of great programs that are mm -hmm, dealing with mm -hmm. bullying, but now they want to go a little bit deeper. And so it's almost about taking little steps for a big change because you got to start somewhere. Yeah. But the change really has to be in these students. Right. You can you fix the problem early. and you know maybe have it go away or maybe decrease it but it still begins with them. Mm -hmm. And so that's what I wanted, this character building, development, and anti-aggression or aggression reduction uh, program to be a part of. It's about character. Amy, do you see the um, working with the character of the kids as being, as working with the kids who have been bullied or the bullies themselves or both? Both. both. Okay. Because we often think of what the victim, uh -huh. the person that's actually uh -huh. being bullied, but why does this person want to do this? They're, they don't want to be the victim, so they're taking more of the aggression right. approach right. and putting it and placing it on someone else right. who doesn't know how to handle it because even though they may have been, you know, bullied or whatever, but right. they have just fallen in 
to that kind of role in, in the situation. So no, it's really about both sides to me. And they each need to recognize that they, they've got qualities. Sure, they've got sure. a character. Build upon that. And every you know? child, every person does. Yeah. But some of the, the uh, outcomes of bullying are tragic. It tragic. is. Very and, tragic. Yeah. Very tragic. So in what kinds of ways? Obviously, you're working with this person from, mm -hmm. you said, Portland State? Is yeah. That, yeah. Uh, we're working a with a doctor professor mm -hmm. at uh, Portland State University. So she's helping us develop this curriculum. So it's right. in that beginning stage right now. Do you have other nonprofits that you might pull into this to work with you on this? Or what, what, is, your, what is your game plan? Or is it just still in the beginning stages here? My, it is still in the, in the beginning stages, but my plan for this is obviously to work within the public school community. And you know, Portland is my mm -hmm. community, so this is where we're right. gonna start. And we're gonna use some, um, uh, what do you call it, the, some of the target schools mm -hmm. and launch it next spring or oh, the fall good. of next oh, year and get their input. Did this work? Did it's, you see some reduc uh, reduction in people going to the principal or you know, students saying that this is what's happening to them in school? So it's going to be kind of a fluid work in progress. You know, it this is. works, this doesn't, we'll just kind of shift gears. And depending and on that feedback, mm -hmm. then we'll tweak it, we'll strengthen it, and then uh, launch it all school, you know, all Portland wide. But also because my show is national, people know me nationally. Right, right. I'm hoping to take this in different communities around the country. But it also can be a resource for some of the educational conferences and stuff, some of the organizations, bigger ones that deal with kids that are right. coming from all these different elements. Right. Um, you know, I'm just going to throw out like the Boys and Girls Club sure, or sure. the YMCA or, you know, just There's those organizations. organizations. <laughs> and they deal with kids every day. Yeah. But sometimes when you're dealing with them every day on certain issues that these kids need support and help with, this is something that you can, oh, yeah, we still should be bringing this in, right, empowering right. them, helping them to really like themselves, building up their character. So, yeah, it hurt when that boy or girl or... You know, whoever may have said it, it could be an but adult you know what? I like yes, yeah, I like myself enough that I'm not going to let it penetrate to the point where, where you know, you, I can't where do you it. value yourself yeah. less. So it's almost like this will be a pilot project in Portland. We get to be the the test case you do, here. You and, do. Yeah. It, it'll be a pilot program, but then we'll take it yeah, Portland, yeah. you know, community wide, you know. It, Washington, Clackamas, Multnomah County, or all those different Wonderful. schools. And we'll have different stages. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll have the elementary, a middle school, and high school. Because it changes in right. those different. Right, it does. And even yes. as adults. I mean, we call it different names, but it's still cool. about that. Yeah. So will this affect the other work that you've done? Will you still mm -hmm. um, partner with other organizations, or will your focus solely be on the Beyond Bullying? I think we're still going to partner with some other organizations, but probably look for those organizations that can help us support that, what we're doing. This will, uh, I'm hoping mm -hmm. that this program will be the main ARCF program, okay. but I still value the where I started ARCF, sure. and that was really supporting some other organizations that are really doing some great things for kids in this community. Right. Who are some of the organizations that you've worked with in the past? Some of the other organizations that we've helped is Providence Child Center, mm. which is kind of like a nursing home for kids, yeah. and it's the only one in this whole Northwest area that provides that tremendous care and and or severely and needy yes, children. Yes, you know, 24-7, yeah. you know, yeah. 365 days of the year. Some of the other ones is Bridge Meadows, which is an intergenerational community. So it's bringing in the senior citizens mm -hmm. to provide low-cost housing. It's, it's helping those families uh, that are adopting three or more foster care kids. Give them a home. So giving and them a, a home. And a built-in community. In this neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So you got grandparents that need a place and yeah. something to do, helping these families. And you got kids that are being brought up in a, in a family community. And the other one that is really to a heart of me, too, um, is called Soccer for Success. And I really like that because, obviously, it's sports. But it's, you know, serving under... Um, underserved? Yes, yeah. underserved. Yeah. Sorry, I get so many of these names. Yeah, I know. Depending <laughs> on what it is. But it serves that it helps underserved kids yeah. uh, through soccer and uh, mentoring, nutrition, gives them that moral support and yeah. gives them a physical activity, gives them, yeah, I can play soccer, gives them the ability to talk to the other kids who may be able to be on other sports teams, but they get an opportunity to do this. So it helps them to bring it back to them and, and say, you know what, I may yeah. not be able to do this, 
but I've got a coach that's with me. That's you know, great. I get it. I get to do this four days a week. You know, during well, the school yeah. year and stuff, and, and that, talking about other issues. That kind of thing, I think, does build self-esteem in yeah. a child and helps them to resist or to stand up to that kind of bullying that you've been talking about. Those are all things that are really important. Cause, you know, it's like you know, like they say, you know, it, parents have a huge, huge job. They do. Teachers have a huge job, but if if the community can help, if the community can come together, I was never quite a fan of Hillary uh, Clinton's. Um, <laughs> it takes a village. Uh, it takes a village. <laughs> yeah until my kids got older because I always tell people I'm still the parent uh -huh. I'm still the CEO right and you are but I want other people that I think could be great for my kids and that they know that they can go to other things and right. other people right. and so with the community in parents who are going through their own struggles and mm -hmm. these kids facing these challenges it's always nice to have these programs yeah. you know that are out there that are there to support that are out there to help empower and really make these kids you know not to uh, take away that this is a tough situation for a right. kid to go right. through let alone right. an adult but that you're worthy you matter you have purpose you're valued and we're here to help you right. you know That's believe great. in that good now you have um you obviously are supported, the foundation is supported by uh, charitable donations. Yes. You have a fundraiser coming up in, at the end of the summer. Yeah, uh, this is our fifth uh, gala event. I call it Starry Night, and I usually, and I, and I hold it uh, during my birthday weekend. Ah. Because I've got enough stuff. I don't need to advertise how old I am on every <laughs> birthday. So um, I would rather raise money. Yeah as a gift to give back to kids. So it's September 14th, it's being held at the Left Bank Annex and people can find out more uh, information on amyroloffcf.org, our website. Okay. Register, donate, sponsor, what kind whatever. Of, what kind of things usually go on at this, is this gala? Is it, um, um, it, yeah, it's a gala. Well, it's a dinner, you know, is it a Yeah, it's, a, it, it's a, a dinner, it's a silent live auction, we'll have some entertainment. And because I'm different, I like to throw in a little surprise or something that oh, may happen fun. at this gala. So I don't really like to advertise okay, that. Okay, okay. So I want just people to, you know, it's I, I like to hit them right where it counts and make it a little bit different than all the other right. galas. See, that makes just, it more intriguing. I yes, like that. <laughs> just to have, have them recognize this is a great party. We're yeah. going to have a good time. But always remember, these kids are facing huge challenges. Yeah. And if I make you feel uncomfortable, this is just an hour. <laughs> these kids are feeling uncomfortable for, you yeah. know, who knows how long. Yeah. Yeah. And we're here to make a difference. And the Left Bank, where is that located? The Left Bank is uh, uh, located downtown Portland, uh, right across the street from the Rose Garden. Oh, okay. So, Perfect. you know, freeways, That's easy. Close. That's easy access. I think everyone Good. else is familiar. Good. I'm kind of still that country girl, but um, <laughs> it's kind of right across we'll the Rose Garden. We'll bring you into the city once in a while. Yeah. Well, I, I might bring a hay bale or two, you know. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds yeah. good. Well, I appreciate you making the trip out yeah, here to Gresham from from Helvetia. Well, thank to you talk for the time it. and just having me yeah. speak up about something that's really close well, to my heart. It's important. It's very important. It and is. You're doing good work. I'm just so. not a face on it. So yeah, that's good. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad to know that. I'm glad yeah. to know you're actually putting your heart and your, uh, and my your sweat time behind effort, it too. Yeah. <laughs> and I've got a great team. Good. Good. Well, thank you very much, you're Amy. You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks very much for watching this segment of Community Hotline. My thanks to Amy Roloff for being here today. And don't go away. We'll be right back with Jared Hogue from Mount Hood Community College to tell you about a, a great program they have coming up.